All right. Now, this is um, just to show you what this is. We'll get this over here. Um, this is a very, very accurate Discover Australia program. It's got um, basic coordinates that line up with Google Earth and uh, you put a number in from Google Earth and that is why I exposed it three times in a row. There was trying to get the distance between uh, the White House and the Great Pyramid at 5813 miles, I think it was. Possibly nautical miles. Either way, they were out. So I exposed it. And then uh, what we're doing here, for example, is looking at the distances from uh, this coordinates down here. I can go, for example, um, Well, where I bought. You can zoom in on that. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so that's that, that's the the uh, beast right there because that's Rothschild Avenue. Up the top is Chester, and that's the chest they used to put in front of the the uh, as you walk in the synagogue. You put money in the chest, and it goes down to Queen. And then Harcourt. Now, this distance here, those two blue lines, if you go to Harcourt, I tend to go off the track a bit. Um, because now, as I'm saying, this is a sword point, right? Just to briefly get over it. Harcourt as the end egg. We go to Harcourt Parade at the end. That's a, that's a dead end. You go to Harcourt in uh, Victoria. And we measure by the number 105 Rothschild Avenue. Rothschild is the devil. That's it. Then we've got 105, which means Eagle. So you go to Eagle Road... In Harcourt. So I'm going off the track again, I'll show you why now. Okay, there's Harcourt there. Alright, so that's Eagles Road. So you go north Eagles Road. Now, I can tell you now that they are, they are playing with it. Alright, so what will measure it? In miles. And we'll go to where I was born. So that's 169 there, right? 169. So we're going to go back to 61. Okay, that's the number one. And that's 44. Three, three miles. You click on there. I go down to six, 169 again. We go to that one. We've got 888 miles. Do we have a quick round of applause here? We close it up and we've got 890. Now, what you can do, it's, it's holy, you can see it's holy. That's all there is to it. There's a distance in kilometres, right? What's that? Freely, not in vain, gratuitously. My, my auntie used to say, um, we're too, too seriously. She had a bit of a list. Gratis, she used to say for sure. Even Stephen Hawkins can't say that. Mm. 
I did an interview the other day with Stephen Hawking, actually. I said, Stephen, tell me about uh, your theory on the singularity in the Big Bang. In as few moments as possible. What's that got to do with it? I asked you about the Big Bang. Not how many bloody miles to get on your battery. of a second come from what? clear I said which means it's not expanding from a single point in moron it's all created in place like opening the bottle of a beer bubbles uniformly form at the same time under the same pressure some are larger and some are smaller the smaller ones at the lower level and the large ones at the upper level. He was lost for words. They were formed in the one place, the one time. As gravity, the magnetism, is not subject to time. Excuse me a moment. Hello. Uh, look, she's just up the road. It's her husband here. How are you? This is uh, Warwick, is it? Good, mate. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, then we'll get a page here. Call right. that well, uh, K D five N. Piano, I oh yeah. Got the keys go up and down. <laughs> Interesting. But I that would be very handy for me because I've always wanted to learn to, to play the piano. And my mother, when I was about seventeen years of age, we went to a party and she sat down and started playing the piano and I couldn't believe she's like Liberace. She learnt it by ear. But I never knew. I never heard it play up until I was seventeen years of age. <laughs> so it's in my blood. <laughs> but uh uh Janelle plays uh, very, very well. And I've always said, look, we've got to get you a piano sooner or later. That's why we looked at that thing. She liked the idea of the grand piano. And what we're trying to do is uh, we're setting up a uh, like a, a uh, online church. And uh, we're going to have, because she sings and, and does all that sort of stuff, we're sort of going to do it for the kiddies, really. So uh, give them the Jesus story and all that kind of thing. But we've got nothing to do. I'm retired now. I'm nearly 70. So... Uh, 
the idea is that uh, uh, we would just make things up and, and uh, have cartoons. We've got a couple of people living with us that are experts in the uh, in the arts and uh, make up uh, digital cartoons and all sorts of stuff for the kiddies. So, and just with the Jesus concept. Yeah. Every day, do an hour a day. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's the whole idea of it. And so we thought we'd just go ahead and do it. That's why we were going to buy that little one she was talk, looking at, the 10 year old thing. And you know, you might have spare part trouble with it. So the way I look at it is that, okay, if it's 10 years old, it's never broken down up to now, and you hardly ever used it. So you think, oh, okay, it's electronics. So it should be all right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking that. Oh, dear. That's wonderful. Isn't it? Yeah. No, no. Okay. All right. Now, um, now, have you got me thinking second hand? Now, do you have some sort of payment plan or rental or anything like that? Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm too old, I don't think I'll get any fun <laughs> Okay, well, and you supply to churches, do you? Yeah, well, uh, I was uh, up in New Guinea there. We, we've got a couple of health clinics up there for curing AIDS and things from malaria and so forth. 
And um, we actually started uh, doing a program though. We got interviewed on uh, Channel 2 down here in Sydney. And um, once I said, you know, what we've been curing hundreds of people of malaria and AIDS, and I said, as far as I'm concerned, it's a conspiracy to get people to stay sick, to kill people. Well, I got that out. The reason I got that out is the guy who was doing the interview, after he'd done the interview, they're going to snip out bits they don't want, right? And then they put in this guy, Professor Cooper, said, we have no cure for AIDS, we know what this man's doing, the, his electro-health doesn't work, the colloidal salt doesn't work, the ozone doesn't... This is how he's going on. He's Professor in Sydney. So I said to this Marshall character, because his name was the same as mine, and I said to him, now you've got the interview. I said, if you alter that, I'm going to have your balls. That's, you're disgracing our name, Marshall. I said, that's a royal and bloody name, by the way. So I gave him a, a, a gobful, and then actually got onto the... Uh, it's actually on the internet now, and uh, it was on the... Um, um, the news, uh, late line, is it? Yeah, late line. It's on late line on Friday night. <laughs> so we got our word out. We've got our clinics here on AIDS, and it is a bloody conspiracy to kill you. So we also have a, yeah, another series we're going to do with all these uh, health. We, we set another one up in Fiji, and uh, we got arrested over there and deported for doing that. Well, I'm getting too old to do all this kind of stuff, see? So I. I've been, I've been setting up all over the world how people can cure malaria because that's the biggest killer in the world. Right? It, it costs nothing to, to cure it. That's actually a, a fellow uh, panning for gold down in, uh, oh, I don't know, Ghana or somewhere. He uh, was a scientist that worked for NASA and uh, his, his buddies come down with malaria in a malaria-free area. So next thing, uh, he's, all he's got is the water purification tablets of calcium hydrochloride. And he stuck it in water and gave it to him, and they were on death door. And four hours later, they're up and having dinner. So he's taken that over to uh, Jim Humble, his name is. He took it over to Africa, curing all of the Africans of uh, their afflictions. But it also cures AIDS. Right? So then we have another one that um, I had a machine built in America, and I got my specs, and uh, it gives a magnetic pulse through the lymph node. So when you think in the lymph node, like breast cancers usually take the lymph out as well and a woman has for the rest of her life her arms are swelling up. Well, we don't need to do that. We can kill it because it turns out that it's a virus that morphs into a fungus and the fungus itself was discovered by an Italian doctor who his wife had uh, breast cancer and he treated it with bicarbonate of soda. So just drinking bicarbonate of soda cures cancer. We've got hundreds and thousands of people doing it. So we're doing a show on that too, see? So that's why, you know, our bit of a music start off and then what are we going to talk about today to you? Oh, how about our clinic in New Guinea? How are they doing, you know? And get them live online. How many people are you curing this week? Stuff like that. Proving absolutely that uh, what it, it is is a conspiracy to kill everybody. It's in your water. It's in your chemtrails. You ever looked up over the skies? What's changed over the last 50 years? There's long streaks. We've got, we've got films of it up here, of them just clouding out. And if you go on the internet, there's a, uh, a, a uh, something as big as Texas coming down in space that's just been released by CNN and China and, and the Russians and uh, Iran. They've list, listed this thing. They've seen it coming in. Well, this is the holy city coming down. It's 1,600 miles across We've heard that before. And they've been keeping a secret. Now, we have another contact, just when we do our shows, and people write into us, and said that she uh, works in the air industry, and all of the top officials have been leaving um, uh, Washington and so forth, and also all of the um, money people in the stock markets and so forth, the head boys, they're all heading for Denver. Now, Obama went there, and uh, we've been in contact with Obama, and also Iran. And uh, it said, if you go down to Denver and go underground, workers down there have told me personally that they hit the elevator button and went down a floor lower than they should have went, and it's restricted, but the door opened. And they seen torture devices in there of satanic rituals that terrified them, and they got in, walked off the job and went out, quit. That's what's down in Denver. 
So all these people are flying into Denver as we speak with their families. Now, the 21st of December is supposed to be the main calendar everyone's panicking about. And there's things coming 1,600 miles in sp in width in space coming down from above, right, towards the Earth. They are saying the point of calculation indicates a 30% chance it's going to hit the Earth. Right? Now, when the astronomers say 30% chance, that means it's going to hit the Earth. And they're going underground and letting us die up top here. So it's the second coming of Jesus, right? Hey, hello. <laughs> so that's what we're on about. So we'll put shows up like that. Anyhow, mate, it was very good talking to you. I don't think we can do anything at this point in time, so we're going to buy the second hand one, I'd say. Yeah. Thank you, Warwick. When we get around to getting a new one, well, you're on. You'll get it for us, eh? Thanks, mate. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Victim number two. All right. So we have fourteen thirty-two. So we had the laser people. That proves I've got the laser thing ready to go. And anyone can buy it. Just give Baz a ring. Tell him I sent you. You want to got what? You want to buy what you've got there? A whole lot. Sell it in the package. Whatever it costs, for them to do it, that's how much you can have it for. Over unity. Perpetual motion, that's what we're talking about. For free, gratis. 1432. Great, large, 1431. You can go up the options again, you change the distances again, back to the 888, check out 890, and you can go to this one, 7728, that's the Hebrew number. Apostate, 7725. Turn back. So we turn back on ourselves up to here. And you've got the bearing, the heading right, which is 1221. 1221, story there. If you go to 1221 degrees, between 1220 and 1221 degrees, on the uh, December the 18th, 1922, you've got a distance that is 621 miles from the ancient city of On, where Drew Barlon of Freemasonry originates out of the devil. Joseph marries into that, marries the high priestess, no, marries the daughter of the high priestess, Anas, Anasa, Anasa, number 621 in Hebrew. And that's the story of how the lineage of the queen of the underworld, the devil, comes down through the line of Joseph into Manasseh and Ephraim, which becomes America and Australia, both as bad as each other. So we've got 1221. However, is the latitude, longitude of where my, I built a house in uh, Canada, which is 44443.3 kilometres from another house where I had, was a trailer actually, in a trailer park. Which I'll build. Uh, 444.3 kilometres to where Tracy was conceived. So we've got my two daughters. <coughs> so that number, if you multiply it by uh, 4443. Now, why 4443? Well, that's a word, how many times the word God is found in uh, three, um, eight, seven seven verses. And that's the distance from where the hospital was, the maternity ward, where I was born, reborn. 
for the jackpot. Okay, so you take the 4443 times 7 and it gives you 31101. Right. If you go to First Chronicles 513, take the seven names in it, you got Zia 2127, which is the difference in age between my daughter, which was conceived at 12, 20, 21 degrees west, something like that. So there you have the uh, distance now in uh, 7711 nautical miles where you can go up to uh, metric and to that point there you've got 1428 so far. And what's interesting is uh, uh, you go for those of you who haven't seen it, um, on this particular program here, you'll see that number there, 1004AR. We've got to, to some easier numbers to remember, like these ones here. We'll see how far that one is from there. We'll do it in miles. Now just pay attention here. That's 4706. We go to another one. 4705. We go to number 41. 4589. So it's a long way. But what happens when we go to the statue of Jesus, I've got them side by side here, 1004.5, when I get it right on the right money, wherever it is, right about there, so. Alright, that Now, we'll go from there back to 14, which is 4,000 odd miles away. From the other one. There's 1004.5 around there, but if you move it about you get it exactly. We're not close enough in. There's another one there, same distance. There's another one there, same distance. There's another one there. Okay, so remember I said get right in close, it's 1004.5. You get the calculator out. Uh, one zero zero eight four miles point five. Hmm. What are we going to do with that? Do mean anything to anybody? Let's divide it by something. Say five. There we go, times pi, times pi, back to pi again. Hmm? 3168, Lord Jesus Christ. So what have we done? Divide by pi. 6-8 is Lord Jesus Christ. Glorious. Worship. Praise. Glory. So do eighty.
All right, so what have we done? Let's zoom out. These are all, all these are the same distance to the Jesus statue in Rio. That one there, that one there, that one there. Take your pick. Impossibility. That one is certainly not the same distance as that one to Rio, unless Rio is here. It is. Go a bit further out. How about up here? All the same distance. How about up in Russia, Siberia, China? goes through 16 countries. So let's pick one out and go to it. We know that if we measure across, just roughly, from there to there, that's 4, 6, 7, 9 miles. If you go from there to there, that's 4, 5, 9. Go from there to there, or there, or there, that's 4, 4, 9, 7. So let's pick one. How about that one there? Go right in. Highest one. Oh. That's zero one two, white point zero one two. Uh, over time, this program must be keeping up with data, and these are slightly moving about. I get further away. You'll notice that that is on one zero eight four. Two, so the further away you're getting, it's getting higher. You come back to there, it's 1084. How far is it from there to there? Well, it's a third of a mile. Fifty-seven kilometers, point five seven kilometers, five hundred and eighty kilometers. At 580 meters. Goodness gracious! So you can go from there, put it back in miles. Go to anyone at all. We'll come up soon. See that one's moved, right? Move to here somewhere. Was there? All right. A four. Number eleven. A four. A four. From there, say yeah, four thousand one hundred and forty seven miles between those two. We go from there, over there.
So we go out of it. Show you again where these are. This is in Russia. Right now, uh, it's from South America. Welcome to there. It's around there, but the point being, look at the distance here. 10075 roughly. So if you go like so, to like so, back to there, you've got the distance around the other. So what this is forming, the distance from Jesus, which is on the um, 4317 latitude, as close as it can get, it's standing on the edge of a cliff, draws a circle on the other side of the earth at the Lord Jesus Christ number which goes circle now times pi and the distance between any of these that I have put on there will tell you a sacred story for example you got to admit that's me I created you and a created doesn't want the creator. You want the one you want. So, we go to the end. And we'll take that mark first. Then we go to Good day, mate. Sound like interesting chat to the piano fellow before? Yes, I recorded the whole thing. Mm. Nice. Before that was Baz about his payment for uh, AC Laser in Thomastown in Melbourne. Yep. Nice fella. Yeah. I said, well, I've been kept telling her to pay the damn thing, but she hasn't. So now, yeah, the organ deal, no, no way in the world. He doesn't give a fuck one way or the other. <laughs> I was telling him, there's, there's this thing coming from space. The Holy City. Oh, yeah. You still organs to the church? Yeah. Like, really? Tell me more. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a, uh, you know, the demonized asshole. Hello. Hi. Hello. No deal on the um, on the organ. Say that again. No deal. Hey, it's got to be financed. It doesn't carry in house. Oh. When he says we can work a deal out. Yeah. So I broke in and launched day and told him everything is going on. The holy city's coming down, the sixteen hundred miles across, curing people of AIDS. We're going to do kids up upload for the kiddies, Christian upload yeah. for the kiddies. Oh yes. Yeah. You supply churches, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're going to have a church on the internet explaining how to cure AIDS and how we do this and how we do that in our clinics up in New Guinea and have live conversations with them. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> it doesn't mean a thing. It doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> then Baz rang. He wants some money for his uh, uh, AC laser. We got some money we can pay him? Yeah. yeah. So we'll pay the... Um, Keep enough to buy that organ, eh? Huh? We've got that. Alright, well, give Baz a ring and we'll just send him some money. No, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. Thanks, thanks to all the viewers' donations. <laughs> yeah, I also said on this that this is like over unity, right? I didn't go into the full story about it, but it's not only over unity on weight displacement, it's also over unity now. I've put magnets into it. 
and all sorts of things you can do with that. So there's the four things, the basic instruction manual for university, first type. Then the second type, slightly larger again, slightly different shape. Then the third type in perspex. And the fourth type out of MDF 19 mil material with 30 uh, big, big, huge, powerful magnets, right? And there it is. You got over unity. It's for free, gratis. So I've looked the numbers up, right? That says for free, gratis. <laughs> now, what's interesting? I was also showing the general public before. Then I went off on a on a tangent from the phones come in. I thought, what timing? <laughs> Baz rings first. Yeah. All right, I did the distances on the solar eclipse with a program which I know to be um, updated. All right. And what it gave me was the distance to um, the sun is 0.99 astronomical units. Now, that's, that's actually 9898. But that's pretty good. Then I did Mercury 0.69. Hello, there's a slam dunk. The rock. Now this rock's coming in is what it's referring to, right? We're talking astronomy now. We're not talking me as a person who pisses everybody off and get rejected. We're talking about a stone that's coming in. It ain't gonna do what? Yeah. It's don't don't miss. Yeah. CNN, thirty cent thirty percent chance Ooh. it's gonna hit the earth. In other words, it's gonna hit the earth. Ooh. That's thirty percent. So, yeah, right. right. That. That's like a Russian roulette. The truck Actually, you've got a bit of chance with Russian roulette. That's one in six, not one in three. So, um, here we have these lovely Christian people that don't give a fuck. And supplies the churches. Getting back to this. Mercury at 0.69 astronomical units, Venice at 1.33 astronomical units, add the two together you get 2.2, where we heard that before. Add Mars at 2.1, so you got 2122 or 2221, but they all total 4.12 astronomical units. So we've got four numbers, right? Mercury, 69, 133 to Venus, Mars is 21, add them all together, and you get 4.12 astronomical units. But Jupiter <coughs> is the fifth planet out, which is farther in Greek. It is 4.12 astronomical units from the sun, from us. Get it? Say it again, how many units? 4.12 units, astronomical units, from Jupiter right. to us. And all the other planets total 4.12. <laughs> so um, then it goes on Jupiter at 4.12, Saturn at 10.71, Uranus at 19.37, Neptune at 29.83, and Pluto at 33.02. Okay. Now, what that gives us is a total of 2018 point and the 2018 is destruction. Like, you can't argue with this. This is what it is saying. You don't have to believe it. Right, but hiding underground ain't going to help you. No. You're fucked. No. So, we have Obama announcing about the destruction. Like, are they not reading the same numbers? And do they have the Satanic Bible to read the concordance from? I'm just telling you what they're reading. Destruction. So they're going to be going. Now, how long ago they know this? Well, I'll say a very long time. Well, Harrington confirmed it. Well, right. actually, no, no, Harrington's signing is a bit bizarre because he... Uh, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good couple of the other astronomers, particularly on our Right, I'm going to do this for that enough. Yeah. John, I think that's the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, you got their phone number there? I'll say it while I'm here so people can ring it. Uh, 
Yeah, right. This is Australia now. So if you're ringing from overseas, it's Australia six one three nine four six five nine four six five six three four four six three four four. And uh, we're going to be buying a second-hand piano. <laughs> I got him to say it. They are such an excellent piano yes. that they never have trouble with them. So they take it all doesn't matter. Well, I said, well, a person who has had a, a organ for ten years, if they're not a professional or a church, even then, they get played that often. People get sick of them. Or they don't know how to play them. Sometimes they've never been played at all. So therefore the chances are being in a, a a stable environment in a house, there can be no problems with electronics. He said, yeah. And I said, well, I'm a pensioner, I'm 70, I cannot afford to buy a 6,000, 7,000 unless it's in-house because I can't get finance at 70 years of age. Oh, yes. <laughs> we don't do in-house. That's... Uh, so that's what we're up against. So we have then um, all these distances, 3302, for example, to Pluto. Now that's an interesting, very interesting number. Because it's not listed. I've taken it out. So we go up one, 3303. It's there. A primary particle, properly indication of an affirmation of concession, in fact, usually following by a contrast clause with 1161. This one, the former, etc., even, indeed, so, some truly, verily often compound with other particles in an intensive or assertive sense. Right, if you go back the other way, 3301, whoop, that was They have taken out over a hundred words in a row out of a dictionary. Can you imagine you open up your Oxford Dictionary and you go to page, say, 450, look up a word, and all of a sudden, if they're numbered one through to whatever the number is in English, Let's say it's 50,000. If you get to 3,000 and then there's no 3,000 through to 3,050, you'd be appalled. Why? How about if it's no 3,000 to say 3,150? Well, that's the equivalent of what's happening here. They've taken that bit out the middle. Why? But it tells a story, as all dictionaries do. So you go back to um, 3,200. See where it begins. So it's a sheepskin, a parchment. You go to 3201. That's to find fault. 3202. This is uh, a complainer. 3203. Not listed. So what this meaning is from 3203. to 3303 in the Greek it is the word men from 1161 we did that before so 3303 is there take away one 3302 is not there. So what have we got? There's 99 missing.
stagnant water, 99 is. The same as 98. There's something in there that's so damaging that I've taken it out. So, there we have it. We have um, all the different programs that we use. This is the one here. Is um, out. This is Google Earth. So we can compare that to Discover Australia. Any two distances, we know which is accurate. Of course, you do all these numbers, transpose those over to Google Earth, and you get a, an extreme difference. Then you got your starry night. Now this one here is what we were doing to get the uh, the sun and moon forming a lunation and then running up to the crucifixion. You got uh, April the third, thirty three AD, and the crucifixion occurred at that moment of death. The Moon was had turned as red as it's going to get over my birthplace, rebirth place in Rothschild Avenue, Rothschild being the devil. That's with this program. Uh, it's the most accurate that's available to the general public. Google Earth, wholly inaccurate. You know, proved it three times. Wholly accurate. This is kind of crap that pops up all the time. But I want to see what's going on, right? I don't want to stop it. Um, this is backup thing now. Great uh, storage. For one gigabyte online, they wanted nearly $60, and I paid for it. Then found you got one gigabyte. I'm, talk I'm looking for six trigabytes storage online storage right and these thugs here Seagate is offering a service for sixty fifty dollars fifty eight dollars absolutely amazing everywhere you look at Steve's by Robert's who gives a fuck about the second coming? I want to sell it down. Okay, there's the solar eclipse that's going to occur. And what we've done is put this into waypoints and measured from here to where I was born with Google Earth. Now think of with not with Google Earth, with uh, Discover Australia, which we know to be accurate. <laughs> so we've got uh, the eclipse. We go there. That's where it's passing through on the last one I just showed you. There. So we'll click on that. And we can go to where we are now. I'll give you the distance. 754.7. Perfume. 7543. Spice. Chief among the publicans. Right, so you got to go where I was born, obviously. Twelve four seven. Right. Serve as a deacon.
son. 11.21. Grandson. So we'll have our Kiddush show after all. And a lovely, lovely instrument. Which one's that? Right, so this is from the eclipse. It's where it hits the Australian coast. There. I've been to Port Douglas, of course. Hamilton Island. Been to Cairns. One zero eight three nautical miles. There's the sun. Miles one zero eight three. One zero eight two strength, comfort, with destruction, invade with destruction in an unfavorable sense, or comfort, recover strength in a favorable sense to break off all this. Like we got this sixteen hundred mile wide. Oh dear. Hello. Yes, um, can you get me the, uh, or can you recall what the uh, YouTube is for looking at that coming in asteroid? Uh, yes, uh, it's on the website, is it? So going through all this here just to get off the subject for a minute gives you all this information which changed colour like that we've already been there and have a look, right? So I was determining that the uh, moon is out by 9,199 no, 9,919 kilometres and the sun is further away by three <laughs> I think it was three one six three nine six six three nine six six. Okay, we went to the YouTube there. The video manager, or where is it? Yeah, video manager and then history. This is uh, Illuminati symbol 13. I W L U M I N A T I S Y M P O L S 13. Please shot.
We also mentioned the solar eclipse coming up to Baz. No, 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 it's all right. Now you got to give Steve a ring. You said normally those organs are 12,000. Yeah, the other one's six thousand. That's a thousand dollars delivery. Spectacular. Okay, so there you have it. At that moment, in the uh, programs that haven't been ordered, the original not online, Carl Sagan, Busy Cosmos, and then we've got uh, Home Planet. Gives you the exact positions of the moon and the sun and distance to the stars, that one. So we have the uh, Mercury at 0.69. We have Venus at 1.33. Add the two together, you get 2.2. Then you add Mars, 2.1 astronomical units. And totals 4.12. Then you have the distance to Jupiter from the Earth, 4.12, the same as the 4.12 total of Mercury, Venus and Mars. This is all the information for your location around Queensland. And you've got your duration, which would be the longest point in time, 135. Starts at 545. What is that? That's the height. 
of the Great Pyramid up to the rejected capstone. In feet. No, in inches. 5454 four in English inches. So it starts at 637 and at 638 for a duration of 135.95 seconds. Etc. 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 So you won't have any of this crap. It pops up on your computer. And what you do, this crap pops up. How many is there? One, two, one, two, three, and you've got four in there. We should have that inside it again, which is five. Have that inside it again, which is six. And that inside it again, which is seven, to infinity.